right, this is Cuban Cassius Fire from London. Stand with me, I've got Eddie Hearn. How are you, Eddie? I'm very well, very well. Buzzing. Yeah? Buzzing tonight. First time I've been to Olympia. Came down today, just said to Jane, what a place. You know, it's going to be packed up there later with Scousers. Just all Plenty of character. Boys. Oh, unbelievable. But this is what boxing's all about, you know. Amphitheatre, it's a bit like York Hall. I talk about this is the Liverpool York Hall. You know, and York Hall works so well for Prizefighter, and Olympia's going to do that tonight. How do you think the Prizefighter series has gone in general over the unbelievable. years? Unbelievable. Unbelievably well. You know. You're going to say that? Yeah, of course. I think that people who are a little bit too close for boxing don't understand what prize fighter is all about, which is about growing the sport and taking it to a mainstream audience. You know, the, the viewing figures on Sky will speak for themselves. They're double that of a Saturday night fight night. You know, and uh, if you ask people who come to prize fighter events when the last time they went to boxing was, it might be two, three, four years ago. You know, so you, it's bringing people back into the sport, bringing sport lovers and the mainstream audience involved with the game. And boxing fans have got to understand, it's a great night's entertainment, it's a bit of fun, it is what it is. It's three three-minute round tear-ups. You know, it's not world title fights over 12 three-minute rounds. It is what it is, it's a platform for either young fighters, or as we see tonight with Robin, you know, people who are trying to get back in the fold. And it gives people that great opportunity. And because of the mainstream audiences and the big numbers that it produces, whoever wins prize fire is guaranteed a title shot. So, I mean, Robin Reed made his comeback a few weeks ago. Mm. He's coming into this. He's 40 years old. How do you think he's going to fare? Do you think, you know, he's, he's too old for this? Or? Well, if looks and, and condition could decide a fight, he's going to win it hands down, isn't he? I mean, I saw him at a weigh-in yesterday, and I've, I've been quite close with Robin in getting him into this position to, to, to take this fight because I believe that, and he, he showed me that he's still got a desire to do well in, in the sport. His dedication over the last 10 weeks to get in, in shape for this event has been unbelievable. And I saw a different animal yesterday at the prize fighter. You know, that old Grim Reaper that just tells me that he wants this really bad. He looked in phenomenal condition and he looked so, so focused and determined. He's in a very tough fight with Tobias Webb, who, who is, I haven't seen him, but he's undefeated, very slippery. And Robin's got to go in there and he's got to cut off the ring. And he, he's got to do what he does and he's got to understand what he's achieved, what he knows and who he's fighting because it's very easy for him to go out and get outboxed over three rounds against a slick young kid. But he's just got to, he's just got to get on him from the bell. And as in any prize fight, you've got to go out and you've got to win the first round. You can't have a tactic in prize fight to just try and nick the fight, because it'll come back and slap you in the face. Has your dad got over late and all drawing Vastal yet? Yeah? yeah, we got over it quite well, thank you. Um, you know, we got the draw at our place. And then we went to Emirates and they bashed us 5 0. But the food yeah, was, was very there. nice. We stole, we stole the cutlery and uh, a couple of plates and stuff like that. So it was, uh, it was good fun. It was a wonderful run for Leighton Orient, wasn't it? Was. Was yeah, it was. I mean, we're having a good season. We're one off the playoffs. Um, it's what the FA Cup's all yeah. about. You know, and we talk, uh, joke about stealing the cutlery and stuff like that. But when a small club like that has a day like that, there's fans that have been coming, going to that club for 30, 40 years. And it's a special day for everyone involved. The great thing about small clubs is you go down to Leighton Orient, you probably know. 80% of the people in the crowd. You know, you go to Arsenal, I and mean, when we went to Emirates, I know they're only playing at Leighton Orient, but the atmosphere is just doesn't feel the same, you know, and I think that's a great thing about being involved in a small club. And that's a great thing about coming to venues like this because it's got that intimate atmosphere and everyone's here for a great night out. Right, Eddie Hearn, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. It's Coombe Cassius with Eddie Hearn. Thank you. My name's Eddie Hearn and you're watching iFilm London. I feel London, London, London. I feel London, London.